If you want to make bread but you're afraid to handle dough, then I have an easy one for you guys today. This is a no knead, no proofing of the yeast, artisan bread, one loaf for the toaster oven. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara and this is Cooking Made Simple. I'm going to need some warm water for the bread, so let's measure. So the water is hot enough that I can touch it, but I don't want to leave my finger under there to get it scalded, alright? So we need one cup. Let's throw out some. Throw out a little bit more. Yeah, this looks like a cup. Now we're going to need a big bowl with a lid. If you don't have this, go ahead and use a pot with a lid or one of those ice cream tubs that has the lid, alright? Some active dry yeast, salt, warm water, and bread flour. So the first thing we do is put the yeast in the bowl or bucket or pot. And then the salt, next the warm water. And because this is a no knead type of bread, I'm going to be using the handle of the spatula or the wooden spoon. Let's see what it says. Unbelievable. This is from my friend Liz. Thank you, Liz. So let me give this a stir. And we don't have to proof the yeast either, okay? Real easy recipe. Two cups of the bread flour. And I know some of you are going to ask me if you need bread flour. I'm going to say yes for right now, but I'll try this recipe again in the future and use regular flour and see what happens, okay? So just stir it, put some elbow grease in here. So I think for the ladies that don't like to put their hands in flour because of your beautiful long fingernails, you will like this recipe. Just go ahead and stir this until it forms somewhat of a ball. It's not going to look really smooth like if I had put my hand in here. Let's take the time with it. Okay, this is looking pretty good. All right, here we go. So it's sticky and it's a nice little ball. Let me put the lid on loosely and then set the timer on the stove for two hours and then Joe and I are gonna go biking on the trail. Yes, this is what I do sometimes when I'm recording a show and I have time in between. I just try to get some exercise done or some editing done. So this is the end of our trail. This is three miles to the end and now we have to bike back three miles. We got back in time, 23 minutes left. Let's take a look, yeah. I'll let it go a few more minutes. So now we have, what, eight minutes left? Set it to 425, bake, and stay on so I can preheat. Okay. Let me go ahead and dump this out onto the counter. All right. So this is by viewer request. I'm going to have to go look up your name and put it in the graphic or something if I can find you, the person that asked. So I'm not kneading, I'm forming. There's a difference, all right? I'm just forming a dome on the top as smoothly as I can. Look at all this on the bottom. We're just going to pinch it shut. Yeah, you guys can do this. Don't be afraid, all right? You guys can do this. Set it in the flour. Just kind of move it around to form it a little bit more pretty. And then I'm going to put it on this little tray that came with one of my old toaster ovens. Alright, so the next thing that I have to do now is put some butter on top. And it would help if the butter is melted, but my butter is at room temperature, so it'll be fine. Brush it on lightly. And then I'm going to score it now before it's risen. I know a lot of people say score it after it's risen. I've never been able to do that with any bread that I make. I think I'm heavy handed with a knife and I pop it like a balloon. So I'm just putting some lines. And finish off the lines here on the bottom and on the top. Okay. Now, let me see if I have some sesame seeds. I think that will look good. Yeah. Put a little bit of sesame seeds if you have some. If you didn't have any, don't worry about it. Put a little bit of butter here so the seeds will stick. And then I'm just going to find a beautiful towel. One of my Belize towels again, guys. Let me remove. Five minutes was left. Let me set it for 45 minutes. And now it's ready. 
and so is my toaster oven because it's been preheating for 45 minutes or more. I'm going to put this little pan of water on the drip pan part of the thing because I'm trying to create that seam as I would do if I were baking this in my regular oven. I don't know that it's going to work, but I'm going to try. Put the shelf in. Put the bread in. And I'm going to give it 40 minutes, but this toaster oven can actually go up to 60 minutes. But I always give it 40 because I want to come back and check. Remember, it's at 425 degrees Fahrenheit, all right? This is the nutritional facts about the bread. Joe's outside playing his guitar. Now, it has like 5 or 10 minutes left, but I don't want it to go off, so I'm just going to reset it some more. I'm going to give it, what, 20 more minutes? So now I'm making breakfast, guys. A lot of stuff going on today. I'm making breakfast to go with this bread because I want to do a mukbang. All right, guys. I don't know that that little tin of water did anything because it didn't form any steam. Let me end it. But that's what I would have done if it was in the oven. Mm-hmm. All right, so let me get it off of this tray and this aluminum foil. I think parchment would have worked better. I always tap it to make sure it sounds hollow. I'm gonna set it here to cool for a little bit, but only a little bit, because I wanna cut into this already while it's hot. Look at the smoke or the steam coming off of this thing, guys. Cut into this baby. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter here. I want the back so bad, but Joe's gonna kill me <laughs> if I take the back. So do you think we could get eight slices out of this? I don't want to cut the rest of it till it cools down a little bit more because I don't want to like crush it. But so far we have two pieces. This piece is not equal to this, of course. Anyways, let's try. Mm. 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 <laughs> you guys know what the running joke is, right? I can't dance. <laughs> my breakfast don't forget to subscribe like share check out the patreon what else comment i look forward to your comments Bye. hey guys thanks for watching if you're seeing me on facebook don't forget to follow like and share the page if you're seeing me on youtube don't forget to subscribe like and share the page and if you want to see me on a different platform come and join the membership at patreon it's patreon.com forward slash bear pantry show